Okay, so getting into speed, um, like I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, I did my level three course from Renell, who runs a business called Academy Sports Speed, um, is an expert in this area, and she ran us through a few lectures, um, and I'm gonna share uh, a basic uh, synopsis of what she did. So if you're interested in, in this topic, make sure to check out her business Academy Sports Speed. She's got, a, um, I'm pretty sure, Instagram, but definitely a social media presence or, and she posts a lot of uh, content as well. So make sure to check it out. But what we want to think about now with speed is your ability to um, generate force at a fast rate. So we know, particularly for a running sport like football, um, we want to make sure we're able to do this into the ground. So it's known as ground reaction forces. In terms of understanding the muscles for speed training, the thick muscle groups, like the glutes are better at producing strength. So for your squat and your deadlift, they're going to be really favorable. So your glutes, which is at the back of your uh, hips, um, where your long muscles, like the rectus femoris, which is your quads, uh, and your uh, hamstrings are more going to be focused on speed training. All right, so we want to try our rectus femoris in terms of your hamstring. We want to make sure we're developing your long muscles to help you produce that force. In terms of your uh, gastrocnemius, which is your calf, that's got a balance between the two. All right, so we want to make sure that we're developing your calves and they will work a lot with sprinting and particularly around acceleration. And then when we're running more at high speeds, our hamstrings will, will take a fair bit of the load. So your rectus femoris will work a lot more. Max velocity, we've got five roles of hamstrings when it, of, uh, when it comes to running. So the ability to generate force and push into the ground. A third of that will come from the hamstrings. Control the swing of the uh, lower leg. So that recovery phase where the leg's coming through, the hamstrings uh, have a fair bit to play with that. And transmit energy into the gastrocnemius, into your calf. So before the foot hits the ground, the hamstrings are transmitting that uh, work into the, into the calf. Stabilizing the knee from collapsing under the body weight at impact and becoming more active, maintaining running form as we fatigue. The hamstrings work a lot more. So hamstrings are critical. We want to make sure we're strengthening them and we're exposing them regularly to high speed. Measuring tools that you can use for your speed training. We've got uh, your smart watches, which are, which are quite accurate when it comes to uh, slow running and jogging. So your distances for more like when we do fartlek and interval based work. But when it comes to speed training, in my experience, and working with athletes that have the Garmin or the Apple Watch, the max velocity that it shows is, is um, not very reliable. It can be um, off by a long way, a good 30, 40%. So I tend to not recommend um, using your Garmin or your Apple Watch when tracking your, your sprint speed sessions. 